Hey, SEO friends, logos for lead gens. I do a decent amount of lead gen, usually for myself, seldom for selling leads, seldom for, you know, clients, mostly for my own agency, you know, picking up new SEO clients or web design clients. And, you know, the better you make the logo, the better the lead gen looks. So I'm going to show you some of my process as far as how I make the um, logos. So go to a site. Uh, like logogenie.net, which is shown here, freelogocreator.com or freelogodesign.org. Don't click the logos the second that you click them. They have watermarks. And if you plan on going vector, meaning uh, if you need a line, you know, uh, model or mathematical model of your logo so that they can resize it without pixelation, which is vectorization, you want to go with fat fonts because thin fonts don't vectorize properly. Next, you zoom in. So you do control plus to zoom in as much as possible to your logo. You do a screen capture, alt print screen, crop it in paint or Photoshop, save your logo. So check your vector victor. So this is a famous line from airplane. As soon as I started talking about vectors, that's all I could think about. Um, Vector, line model of your logo, used for shirts, vehicle, window lettering, etc., so that they can, you know, make it as large as possible without pixelation. The two uh, vector files that people are looking for, you know, service providers that are going to print your, you know, lettering for your vehicle or your window, etc., <clears throat> they're going to be looking for AI or EPS. Those are vector formats. And, uh, ConvertIO.co does the vectorization for free, but if you want it done right, right, Vector Magic. And these are the outputs that you want. And if you look, especially in this area right here, you want it so that the vector looks even better than the original. That's when you've really hit on, you know, doing a proper vector. When it looks better than the original and crisper, the lines, like if you look at how sharp that is versus there, that's a good vector. So they charge, uh, Vector Magic charges a couple of bucks, but if you're at the stage that you're going to be vehicle, you know, doing vehicle lettering or anything, 10 bucks isn't going to hurt you. Um, next, a little bonus, uh, some other stuff that I do graphically for client sites, etc. cetera. Um, Befunky.com. So uh, I just had a scenario, this is not my client's building, but I just had a scenario where I took a picture of a client's building and it looked terrible. It was awful. It looked real bad and was not going to be a positive representation of the client. Um, so I took a picture of the building, brought it into befunky.com, and this is the output. So it turns it into a painting. Now, it looks a little crazy this size but figure that the output was going to be actually around that size on the web page it looked good after it was sized down now these guys uh this uh be funky they have a million different options for changing pictures around it's a really cool site and uh a lot of the uh, options are free um they watermark stuff so obviously i wouldn't want to save this picture with this big thing here and what I've found is if you bring the image in with the image on the, as we call the canvas, the entire, you know, format of the uh, background, if you put the, if you march the image to the top right of the canvas, it actually puts the watermark here and it misses your photo, in which case you can screenshot it, you're good to go. Pretty cool. Um, Be Funky also has an amazing portrait cleanup. So if you bring in a portrait and you, uh, they have all sorts of stuff. This is just lipstick, but they have sections for eyes, eyebrows, chin, skin, imperfection, hair, etc. Um, they have a great cleanup on here. And as I said, uh, some niches have big egos and if you have a good uh, if you have good eyes you might be able to see what 
<laughs> Mitch <laughs> decidedly has big egos, so they might want this for their personal portraits on their uh, attorney pages. <laughs> and uh, again, uh, redesign the canvas to miss the watermark. You know, move it top right on the canvas, and it'll miss your picture. Finally, this is a cool site that I just stumbled on, Tech Studio. So if you want to do a text-based or as we call it, logo type, you uh, can stylize type really nice on this site. You basically choose a look from all of the famous brands looks and you uh, click on it and it comes up here. You type your text and you save it. Um, the only thing on here is uh, you want to avoid gradient backgrounds because if you take it off here and pop it onto a website or wherever, you're going to have to match up the background. And if it's gradient, you're not going to have a good time of matching up the background. So I would drop the background down to uh, um, either white or black. Um, otherwise, you're going to have a tough time matching up the backgrounds. And you may want to move around in here as far as the shadows because they can be disruptive. Sometimes they work great. Sometimes they can be disruptive. And if you want to crop them real tight for a header image, you probably don't want the back, the uh, shadow because it's just going to make it taller and the beginning of your website start further down the page. So a couple of graphics tips, um, some logos, some touch-ups on building images, some portrait images, and some logo types. So hope you guys got something out of that. Uh, any questions, reach out to me. Um, on uh, via the comments below. Uh, like, subscribe, share, and uh, have a great day. Take care. Bye.